Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Universal Compute Standards Breakout Board. We have been talking about the Universal Compute Modules, like this one. These modules can have all kinds of different processors, all kinds of different features with Wi-Fi, with Bluetooth, whatnot, and they all share the same pinout. Similar pinout, compatible pinout, so SPI, UART, USB, all go on specific pins. So as far as the hardware, they're all compatible. You can cre quickly create a product. So this is the development board for the standard, but similarly, you can create your own product, which will have a lot of basics. Uh, all the complex work will be on the universal module itself, like a processor, memory, Wi-Fi. And then on your end will be your analog conditioning circuits, whatever other functionality you may need on your product. And then you can quickly grab one of the options, plug it in your product, and you're good to go as far as hardware. And then on the software, we have uh, libraries, we have TinyCLR, we have all kinds of things. I recommend you go back and watch that video if you um, haven't seen it yet. So this, so this video would make more sense to you. I don't want to get into the details. We did that into, in the previous video. What I want to talk about today is this very cool breakout board. Similar to the development board, the breakout board is made with the universal uh, standard in mind. So you grab any of the universal compute modules, uh, plug them in um, the breakout board, and then you will have access to all the pins and the display pins on the back. Uh, similar here. You have, we have all the pins exposed. Now this is nicer because it's larger, you can get to think, things quickly, but what if you just need a breakout because you wanna uh, prototype a product? Uh, and this would be perfect for that. And actually, we took this one step further, and what we did here is gave you the pins in through hole and surface mount format, meaning that we have the holes on the side, and we also have castellated holes right next to them, so you can take this and solder it right on, on your product. And we actually have a demo to show you how that works. So uh, this is just a demo. This is not a product that we want to provide, but we're going to give you this. It's, this is open source. We'll give you that to use that as a starting point uh, to create your own. So for example, this right here, we also gave you both options. You can do through holes, so you can have headers that go over here, and then this uh, plug in on top, or you can solder this directly on that board under it. Now, with these connections going to your design circuit, you can do whatever you need. In this demo, we have added two uh, microbus uh, click uh, compatible uh, uh, headers, so you can grab any of the clicks. So let's say you need to measure alcohol, uh, you need a stepper motor, but there are just so many options, and you can do that. Um, now, we also made this demo to be the exact same size as the uh, 4.3 inch display. And right here, I have a floppy bird example for you. It actually works. I can, uh, the button is on the back, so I can play floppy bird. <laughs> okay, well. The guys had to slow it down for me because I'm really bad at playing this game, so now it's really slow that, that I can play it. So let me show you the other side. So on the other side, uh, we have the universal compute module, which can be, um, again, there are many, many options. So this could be an option. We're using this option right here, and this goes on top of the breakout board. Now you can use the breakout board as is to prototype your product and wire it to whatever, or you can make a custom circuit, this one right here, to carry your um, breakout board with the universal module on it, which can be surface mounted or through hold. And if you do this the same size as the display, you can grab one of the display we have. It could be the seven inch, for example. You can make a board that size. And this mounts, your circuit will mount right on the back. The breakout will mount right on it. And then you would have your circuit will have your, your uh, whatever custom things you need on there. So you can really quickly turn this into a product if you need something done uh, quickly. Um, 
Again, this is about giving you the options. The, the most important piece here is the universal compute standard. This is all about giving you options. Now, if you don't want to get into any of this and you say, I just want to plug this into a display, no problem. You don't need this custom board, which this would be nice uh, as a, an added option, but you don't need this. Uh, you can get a display. Uh, we have, and we're also working on different display options. So you grab the display, uh, you get one of the breakout boards, um, which is also open. You can take that and customize it to whatever you need. But this is about giving you off-the-shelf option, off the shelf options. Uh, grab the uh, uh, one of the uh, modules, um, the universal compute modules, plug them in, and this mounts right onto the display. Now we can add your product around. We can ex extend that. There's there's just so many options. Now let's say your product want you want your product to go somewhere. Uh, you don't want it right behind the display. So you have your product somewhere in, like in, in an enclosure, and then the display goes on the front where the product goes on the bottom, for example. Still no problem. I'm sure you've seen this before. Um, well, if you haven't, you're really young. Uh, this is what we used for hard drives back in the day. Uh, so this is just an IDE cable. Uh, it's standard 40-pin cable. And what you can do with this is plug it onto the display. This is 40-pin as well. So plug that onto the display. And then you would have the breakout. Uh, with the, we can solder headers, the uh, male headers on this side, and plug this in. Or you can solder. The other option is to solder a female header, like we did on this, solder a female header that lets you plug the board, the breakout board, right onto the display. There's just so many options. I know this might be a little bit confusing, and that's why we're making this video, and there's a lot more videos to follow. But I hope you see the value in making a product in two hours of work. And we have assembly. We can do that for you as well. Um, I hope you see the value in this and we'll see you next week.